Hello, welcome to the channel, and welcome to more of the, the wonderful game, The Bus. Uh, I know it's been about three months since I did a video to it, but I wanted to let it update more and try to see if it got a little bit further in. They are on 1.6 right now, and as you can see, the bus is looking great, beautiful. It always has looked quite nice, nice, nice to me. I will leave the change log down in the dis in the description for you to look at this with the instructions of how to update your game to the uh, beta and uh, without further ado you're going to look and see that I'm going to show you all of my controls my graphics and that I do tweak these because uh, the games changed quite quite a bit and I've had some trouble with my machine so I wanted to uh, try to mess about with the graphics I do change the graphics later on in the game as well uh, and you'll see so I've lowered them a bit but I will be upping them a bit f further down it's a matter of uh, me messing about I want the game to run smooth uh, but I want it to look nice as well but obviously for the purposes of you to be a a a able to see it I want you to be able to see the driving I don't want it to be stuttering too much because I'm trying to run it too high it is early access when you actually load up the game it does tell you categorically in a massive screen it says this game will have bugs it might not even load up at times so it is categorically blunt with you so do bear bear that in mind but I'm gonna go do a, a run on the uh, the bendy bus as, as I call it it's a very nice bus thanks ever so much to TL, uh, TML Studios for providing me with the key and thanks a lot to everyone who supported my very first video I will link that in the description and put a card up there as well as you can see I'm going to the actual scan your controls now of the bus I'm using a Logitech G27 uh, wheel and I've got it mounted on a pro wheel stand I am in the process of changing from my Logitech profiler to the Logi the is it the Logitech app or something I'm not sure what the name is but I am going to upgrade that so that should help me out but this game is working beautifully with my steering wheel I know it works well with many others so we're going to go. Uh, I was very rusty on this because, like I said, I haven't played it for a while. I literally wanted to to let you see some of the changes because if it's just small changes, I can't re really show it yet. I don't want to just pump out every video just for the sake of it. I want to show you something new. So there is a change log. They have been doing some performance op optimization on the streaming level, fixing shadow artifacts, fixing. Uh, root select uh, the left arrow button not clickable uh, various levels of art fixing as you can see I'm putting on I'm go trying to remember the buttons to get to the different panels I want to put on the uh, the the aircon I've got to put on the computer for the actual uh, for, to plug in the the but the bus route can't actually hear the game on my narration so I'm hoping I'm not going over anything important I did play the game I did the route and uh, and here's the passengers get get getting on most of the time they would normally when I first pl played it I noticed that there was a lot more of them with a normal ticket so you wouldn't be be doing many tickets but since the uh, what well, I think it's been six upgrades now we're on because we're on 1.6 six or five and um, there seems to be a lot more people uh, uh, asking for tickets which is awesome because that way it's given me a chance to uh, to do some of that so we're going to leave the uh, the wonderful station right now and the game it looks beautiful as ever it drives absolutely beautiful I've got this set up so good and uh, if you want to look again go go back you'll see my steering wheel set up uh, as in the the controls, the cornering, I have it so when I turn right, the camera turns to the right. It's brilliant. My brakes are a little, little bit sharp. I had to work out what the uh, actual um, uh, I couldn't remember what the cruise con control button was on the game. So later on, I do figure it out because it is uh, you know it's quite nice to uh, not go speeding at 60 se se 70 miles an hour <laughs> but uh, as you can hear the bus clinking and clacking it makes the right sounds it sounds like you're on a bus 
It's brilliant. I really do love it. I've loved it from the first time I've played it. And if you look right now, people crossing the road. Awesome. They cross the roads a lot more. I've noticed there's been a lot more uh, pedestrians around. You'll notice as well, you'll notice the trees popping in. Uh, the foliage that's because I lowered the foliage before I do improve it it still does do it a bit but like I said they're working on, 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 on the game so they're improving it they're tweaking things and other things are going to be a little bit less uh, less pr pretty for a bit it depends on your system if you look down in in the description you will see what my actual uh, settings are so taking a nice left turn lovely so you will see the trees popping in but it does look lovely shadows are nice and uh, the cars are good there's a lot more part part cars and in certain places there's a lot of tra traffic and you do see pedestrians w walking around I think I've drove this route quite a couple of times now but uh, like I said it is really good it's a very nice game it's coming along well uh, probably a little bit slower for, for some people but I think it's going to be worth the wait because they are really taking the time. The thing about this game is, is you know, the driving has got to be so right, and for me, that feels so nice. I really do feel. I come from a. I do a lot of tr trucking, so busing. I've got a very limited amount of experience on busing, but I'm really liking this, and I like the fact that for me, one of the things that annoyed me with. Uh, tour bus sim when I was playing that was it didn't remember my actual uh, my my preset buttons and my uh, s settings whereas this re remembers it I take off my steering wheel I come back on and boom it's done now I have tried to stick to the to the uh, actual bus route times my destination arrival and my departure it's a little bit skew if look at that car just pulling out there jeez not smart. The AI, most part, is okay. Sometimes they do do some funky things, but it's AI again. I will stress it's early access. Uh, it's available uh, as a beta for testing as well. So, obviously, you you will be able to go and put it on the betas, and it will update it to the latest ver version. But there seems to be a lot more. I'm coming up to the first stop. Like I said, I was familiarising myself with the uh, actual controls as well. So we're going to get quite a few people. You will notice that some of the passengers that, that get on uh, look the same. <laughs> They're like twins. But, uh, you know, there's a quite a few people just got on there. And they are happy. They've got their, their tickets already. So they'll just go and sit, sit down. But... Uh, you know it's really been nice what else have they done uh, there's been an auto save added to the save game me menu it only works with new saves they've added a line name for save game information they've set to timetable menu route intervals uh, time to a max of 60 minutes instead of 30 uh, they've fixed uh, cameras uh, streaming bound optimization uh, rare they've fixed some rare bugs uh, where the bus was unable to s to start driving. I've had that as well. Passengers now start leaving the bus when you reach the stop, uh, which is nice. I've literally been using the F11 key to open up all of my doors so that the passengers can get in and out. And they, see, they do seem to be getting in and out quite not nicely. They're sitting down nicely and uh, it's you know all in all it sounds very nice you'll notice at the beginning of the game when I went to the back of the bus the sound was a lot quieter than I went to the front and I should have closed the front door when I was uh, doing my settings so I po uh, apologize for that I'll try to remember but I want you to hear the uh, uh, the um, ambient sound as you can see the foliage is being drawn as I go along but it's smooth the game is smooth and that's what you want if you're gonna buy this you want it to be at least stable right I haven't streamed it yet I would like to but I'm not a hundred percent sure what that's gonna look like I could probably do with a test but uh, I'm 
taken advantage of having a look around. I do take some screenshots. You can see there's quite a bit of traffic here. And there's a, a good variation of traffic vans, uh, cars, the police cars have been around. I've been stopping at the, at, at the lights. And the scenery is lo lovely. The place is go gorgeous. And again, the sound is just so nice on the bus. The rattling of it, it's just like you're sitting on a, on a, on a bus. Um, I will get lost a bit on here and I try my best to not crash. Uh, like I said, I did try. I couldn't remember what the actual uh, what the actual cruise control button is, but now I know it's T by default, so I have do start using that l later on. That light went green at the right time. Thank you. Don't you love it when lights do do that? But uh, I really, really do enjoy this. I can't thank TML Studios enough for allowing me to have a have a look at the key. I publishes Aerosoft GmbH and uh, as you can see someone's come on and they're dropping down a note now I have dyslexia so my mathematics reading is that is not the best so I was literally looking you have to look where it says requested it says they want a single ticket ABC you take their money and you give them the change so I clicked it ABC single ticket I took their money now I've got to work out the change now I didn't realize there was a first and second set for for change on there so I literally had I did work work it out in the end and you'll see me struggle a bit on that that's not the game uh, problem that's just me with this with dyslexia uh, my maths is not very good so uh, you'll have to forgive me but I, I am learning and I'm getting on with it and to be fair I was quite intimidated by it at first but I'm quite l liking it you know I was you know I really think it's great to uh, it's great to drive ar around here I really do love the uh, the look of the game and I really do think it's going to be as it gets a lot f further down there is only uh, I think there's two routes. I'd like to get more routes. Uh, I don't know if there's potentially a, a mod route you can get. I'm going to speak to my friend uh, and see if he uh, if he knows of one. But I know when I finish this this route, which literally took about 50 minutes to do, which is great. Uh, it's a nice long journey. I uh, when I f finished it, it said you'd finish the route. You could go on to route two, but I didn't have the time to do route two, which is a shame. But I have tried to cut down the video a bit for for you. So hopefully you're enjoying the scene. I hope my talking's not too annoying, but I want to give you uh, something to uh, enjoy and listen to. I will try to pause at points and point things out. I'm pretty impressed. Normally, if you watch me on my truck game, I uh, I normally like to have the other mirror up, but I decided to not. And considering I don't drive in a real life, yeah, that's right. I don't drive in in real life. I only really drive on the sim games. I have got some experience with driving, but I've not done my test. This is. I think this is going to be a lovely corner here. Look at that, beautiful. Bear in mind, this is the long bus, the big bendy one. I can't remember what its official designation is. Maybe you or some people can tell me in the uh, in the comment section. But it's a very nice route. And there's, I think there's two. I did have a crash today. Oh look, somebody else wants to get a ticket. They want a single ticket AB. So you have to click the, a, the AB single and take their money. She didn't need any change, so that's great. And off she goes and sits down. Now if you look where the sat nav is, on the bottom right you'll see arrive uh, d uh, there's a departure time so I'm trying to trying to keep towards that time uh, you might see me go a bit forward before because I was late what happened was was I did have this game crash on me when I first did my my recording I used the smaller variation of this of the scan scanner and I was driving along and I had a crash uh, so I decided to try it again and tha thankfully I haven't had a crash I think that's only the first time this has crashed on me uh, uh, but like I said it does look the part I really really do love the immersion and I like the fact that they've added people crossing over now which is nice uh, you know it's 
and there seems to be a lot more people who are buying a ticket so you get quite a few you know you get the opportunity to f experience being a bus driver it'll be interesting to see what they give us a lot late, later down the line I'd like more routes uh, and I assume I'm, I'm assuming that they're gonna make it so you can like do your own company but I'm not 100% sure right now I'd have to look again through the uh, in, in information but I'm trying to uh, I'm stopping at the lights I'm driving quite nicely actually I think I'm driving at quite quite smooth sometimes the lanes get a bit con confusing because you've got like a bus lane and then this other cy cyclist lane and I think uh, sometimes you can stray into the wrong lane but I hope you're enjoying it it is a very nice game and already like I said if you are thinking about getting it but you're on the fence the best thing you can do is hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell let me know that this is what it is you have subscribed for and you'd like to see more and then I can do more like I said I'd like to try and do a stream on it even if it's just an hour or a 50 minute run on it but if it doesn't run well it's not necessarily the game's optimization it could be my equipment as well so uh, bear that in mind we've got a lovely tight right and then a, a tight left I believe around here there's a church here it's beautiful there's some very nice standoutish uh, landmarks and stuff so we are in Germany if you haven't noticed that <laughs> if you haven't told by the language and again that's a beautiful corner absolutely lovely look at the way the uh, the camera turned then it was beautiful I think I've got it I think the camera tilt might be on 65 maybe it's really nice and it's butter smooth so uh, you know it's definitely definitely making my day it's ticking a lot of buttons for me look some people get getting on somebody else coming on for a ticket what they they want a single ticket ABC so you have to click that say the ticket take the cash and if they require any change you dish it out again and then off you go uh, but it's looking lovely you got the traffic going by I I assume that the certain times there can be a lot more traffic you do have access you can open the windows at the side of the bus and you can open the roof windows as well on the left control panel uh, the driver's side near where the handbrake is there is an option for uh, opening the roof hatches I think there's three of them maybe, maybe more on this lo longer vet, vet, vet variant but uh, the windows do open they've got some very nice in Interior. This Scania is lovely, but I've uh, really, really do, really enjoy the drive on this, and that's very important. Very important. As you can see, it's quite smooth. I know there is the pop in, and I'm sorry if if that bothers you a lot, but this game is being developed. They're taking their time, but they're putting a lot of love in, into it. It's, it's to me I can clearly see with what they've done already that they are wanting to give you a, a beautiful beautiful looking game um, immersive you know so you can simulate being a, a, a bus driver this person walking across the street sometimes when I see the pedestrians walk across or walking on the pa pavement they, I can't work out if they sort of look like they're floating or not uh, again it's going to be something that's going to be worked on but that that pedestrian there looks as if he's floating to me with with the shadow it could be because the shadow doesn't continue I'm guessing he is kind of floating but uh, yeah this is a beautiful beautiful game and uh, I can tell it's going to be great further down the line as well but you have to get the driving mechanics the sound the physics and as you can see the camera controls are great so that's you know for me it is a joy to drive an absolute joy I'd like to work on my brakes a bit so they're not so sharp 
Uh, but uh, it is really nice. I really proper do sit back in, 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 in into my gaming chair and my, my arms are on my arms my, my, my armrest and I'm just loving the drive it's so so good they've really nailed it on that for those of you who have been with my channel for a while you know what other simulators I play and I'm trying to branch out and play more and try more games and more bus stuff but obviously I I, I'm, I work full time looking see me looking through the graphics again so you can see some of my settings again and uh, looking through the graphics I am gonna alter some bits and bobs there was a lot on epic before so I dropped it down to medium so now I'm thinking right I'm gonna tweak a few things up and then I'll knock them up and you sort of have to find the the balance if you want to see me do a stream on this let me know in the comments section I really appreciate it if you'd like the video if you like it if you don't like it then feel free to dislike it but I'd really appreciate a little bit of uh, feed fee feedback constructive criticism is always well well welcome uh, I hope I'm not talking too too, too much but I want you to. Uh, I want you to. I want the video to flow, and I want you to be able to to hear in my voice just how much I'll enjoy the driving on this game. And uh, you know, hopefully, you can see that. You can see the way I'm driving. I'm not a professional. I'm not even a professional channel. I just someone who really loves game gaming, and I've been doing quite a bit of simulation or trying to do more. I'm hoping to do more, but uh, yeah, this is a proper, proper nice. I really can't thank the com the the developers enough for the co key because you know I'm a still quite a small channel. I'm trying to get to 2k subs. I'm trying to grow. I do want to grow, and I want to provide you with a good place, a good c community. I do have a very nice. Co community which you see when uh, when I stream I do stream with others but uh, you know getting back to this it really is nice so going back to the settings look the graphics again look what can we turn up now I think I do the foliage and stuff on here yeah the foliage setting trying to see if I can eliminate some of the, uh, the popping and I think I uh, also did some with the uh, the draw distance. I mean, look at the beautiful city. It looks lovely. If you do want me to do just a short video with just the audio of the game without me talking over it, feel free to let to let me know below. Because I, when I am narrating over this, I don't hear the game. I just hear my narration. So I'm hoping my narration is going to go over the sound all right. I guess we're going to find out sooner or later, right? This road's nice and nice and busy, which is nice. You can get up, you can get out of the bus again, and you can walk around. You can see, look how lovely that is. That's a big bus, right? So it looks like there's three windows on top, I think. Three hatches. So I'm just taking some screen some screenshots. I want to get some nice fo photos. So you might see one of those as the thumb the thumbnail. I've turned off the uh, blur, uh, the rave, the bloom and stuff because it was too bright for me. I don't want to oversaturate the game. We seem to be doing all coming next to our next bus stop. So let me know down below if you're liking this, if it's uh, one that you're watching closely, where else you've seen it, and uh, if you want to know my graphics, uh, there'll be some pasted down below. I'm using a G GTX 1070. I'm using uh, i7 4770K 
processor. I'm not overclocking. I never have uh, over overclocked it. It does run quite a few things not nicely. I would like to upgrade my motherboard and my CPU, but I think we've got to earn some more money first. I don't do this as a full-time job. I actually work for a living, so this is uh, this is a joy and a passion and a love, I guess. Really, I love I love gaming. I love doing things like this. It's great. So uh, thanks to the, you, wonderful people who comment and watch and come along and support me. It really does mean a lot. Thanks to the members. I recently got the membership, the join bot button. Thanks to getting monetized after a long journey. So we're in the middle lane because I realised that I was going to go straight, straight, straight ahead, trying to uh, learn the lanes and not get in in the wrong one. Kind of feel sandwiched right now with with the traffic. <laughs> But again, as you can see, it's very nice. The world's nice. Sounds great. Really is very, very relaxing. Not stressed at all. Just enjoying my drive. Lovely bridge. I'd like to get some more footage outside. Maybe I'll have to do a tour. <laughs> I will try again and uh, drive the smaller bus, see if it gives me a different route, and I can maybe upload that. But this is uh, update 1.6, like I said. God, the guy's right in my flipping bus stop. And again, all the information from the log and how to install the beta version of the update will be down below in the description. Oh, here's someone pulling out some big dollar notes. Look at that. That's some big euros. Look. He wants an AB single. He's paid five pounds. That's an easy one. Way. Close those wonderful, wonderful doors. See the color palette's quite nice. So if you think I could do with tweaking something please feel free to let me know below uh, if you see this and you enjoy it could really would appreciate it if you'd hit subscribe hit the notification bell and make sure you say all no notifications so you don't miss anything I do I uh, do quite a lot of gaming look at this tight corner here look at the way the camera turn look at that it's good job the cam the camera turn. I don't have track IR wor working on my machine. I can't seem to get it fixed. I would like to try and get it fixed, but I'm struggling. Uh, but uh, yes, next bus stop. I was just around around the corner. That was a very good, quick, quick one. Let the wonderful people on. Grandma's on. Oh look, seen that woman twice. Whoa, another big note. What's she paying? So she wants a 24 hour ticket, AB. She's paid 20 pounds. Well, 20 euros. Beg, beg your pardon. I'm from England, so I, I always say pounds. But this is euros. This is Germany, isn't it? So it's euros. Silly odd. So I'm trying to work out the change. Like I said, dyslexia makes it difficult sometimes. I'll get there. I'll get there indeed. Look at that. Nailed it. Yeah, it took it took a while, but it was worth it. Again, you can see people walking around. I think they need to get the shadows actually proper right on the feet so you can see that they are actually on the ground. That guy's a little bit not quite right but I did turn down the shadow so maybe if I turn it up that might affect that so that 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 could be my, my fault I did notice I think was it 1.5 when I was driving uh, the cars looked as if they were floating but I've not seen that I think the cars look as if they're grounded now which is nice so we're waiting here literally for the uh, for the time so I can depart on time so I was getting a bit early, so I thought I'm going to wait 
Uh, I do, if I remember rightly, I did cut out some of this tile. I think I had to wait quite a few minutes, but I've cut it out, I believe. Because I'm nice to you. Didn't want to make the video too uh, oh, oh, overly long. When the doors are open, you can hear the loud sounds outside, but then when you close it, it's really nice. Quite a skinny road because of the cars being parked, and I'm not quite 100% sure how wide the, the bus is that I cannot see. <laughs> so I know it's pretty wide, so I'm trying to stay in my lane. Another bus stop. No way. It's crossing. So there's cars parked there. But as you can see, it's quite busy around here, pedestrian wise as well. There's quite a few pede pedestrians around. So they're definitely, you know, up that and they'll probably continue to up it until they find the uh, their, their level. Just finding the tickets. Yep, they're all get, getting on that nicely. So the car in front, if you look, it looks as if it's floating. And I think it's because of the shadow. I don't think the wheel, from what I'm seeing here, doesn't look like the wheel sh sh shadow's right. I may be wrong. I'm on a very small viewing uh, screen right now to do this narration. But it does look kind of tiny to me. But the other cars, the other vehicles look lovely. Some very nice looking cars. See that last who just walked by, her shadows seem to be better. Police again. Seem to be a lot more police around as well. Yeah, we were just rolling down the time. It had to be done. I need to work out how I can turn off Steam notifications when people go online. Do apologise about that. I'll try and fix that so it doesn't get in the way. Last thing I want to be doing is photobombed by people who are going live. Maybe I just need to make myself offline or something. But now we're off again. As you can see I'm turning to the left and I'm turning to the right and you can see the camera moving. You have a uh, centre button for the wheel uh, so you can get your view back to the center I use uh, a mouse that's got I use an RPG mouse so I've got buttons on the side and a Naga mouse so I just use button 2 on that and it just sends centers it back up real quick but I really enjoyed the drive again and I can see it's running nice I can see they've worked on quite a bit Watch this cab. Just pulls out on me. So the eye went totally crazy there. And uh, there was no way in hell I was going to stop there. So gutted. But that was not my, my, my fault. I think you will agree. The car just all of a sudden decided to pull out. And I was going at a decent speed. So I basically just pushed him aside or her aside. Police again. That's the only accident I think I remember as having. A bit of a skinnier road here. You can see the outside. Big glass buildings and stuff. Graffiti. Proper looks like you're living in the city life. I can see the popping. It does annoy me, so if, if it annoys me, feel free to uh, realise that I I find it annoying as well, but I wanted it to run as smooth as I could, so I lowered stuff down. Oh, what are you coming to pay with? Is that a 20 euro? Wow, you gave me a 20 euro for a 380 ticket. Single ticket, ABC. Need to work out what A, B, C, A, B, and that are actually. I'll have to Google that, or maybe I can leave that for for you guys and girls to to tell me what do those what do those mean on the on the on the computer? A, B, and A, B, C. You tell me. Sounds like a rhyming. 
So I think we're going to kill some time again here. Watch the people walk around. It's going to be interesting to see what else they give us route wise and what else is coming. They do have a, uh, a road map. Um, they're hoping to get more routes. Uh, two bus variants, articulate and solar, remember that. They want single player. This is uh, free play mode. You can choose your weather when you do when you do that. They want modding tools for their Unreal Engine 4 game editor. They want multiplayer mode for free play. Now that would be absolutely awesome. They want to, uh, additional bus lines. They want to put like 100 or 200 various routes. Two bus, uh, two new buses variants. That's phase two they're looking at. Literally, if you go and you check on Steam uh, and you add it to your uh, to your list to your your watch list, it does have full controller support for Xbox and PlayStation 4 game controllers. I haven't tried it because, as I've said, I'm using a Logitech G27 um, steering wheel. I think the minimum requirements are a 64-bit processor, uh, Windows 7, 8, 10, 64-bit, an i5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, graphics card, GTX 950 or Radeon R9 280. Bear in mind, this was, I think, from last year, so I would check Steam or wherever you plan to buy the game. But I would say, go if you go on Steam, you have Go on there, add it to your list, you can check it out, you can check the uh, reviews and uh, I will leave the link for my first video I did on here. And like I said, if you like what it is you're seeing, please hit the like, hit the share, it really does help us and uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, you can see I'm quite a friendly person. Got a nice corner coming up here. See, for me, it's great to see parts of Germany, and I love the fact that you go around these towns and stuff, and you see tram lines and all kinds of things. It's pretty impressive. See if we can uh, stop this in the right spot. We had a real nice slowdown there, and I think it's pretty much perfect. Pop open the doors, on come the wonderful people. Got anybody who's repeating? No, that guy's just chillaxing. Right, they're all off. And off we go. <laughs> so I apologise if this seems to you as if it's like a repeat of the first one. But they have made changes. They have made optimization stuff. They have made little quirky things to try and stop the crashes. To make sure your controls work properly. So, you know, it's literally... if. If you have a look and you think, I think it's great that they've put the crosser people crossing, and it does seem to work pretty darn well for a start. That's one one big thing I saw. And it was like, wow, people are crossing the street now, which is cool. But remember, it's still in development, but it's looking good. The driving's great. The audio's great. The bus sounds lovely. The inside of it when you're riding around and hitting bombs, you can hear it squeaking and creaking and shaking. It's really good. Door sounds sound great. That car looks like he's got a bit further forward there. Yes, I'm a bit further back. There's a van, I think. Is it a van? It's a van. Oh, yeah, I really love the, uh, I really love this, uh, the curve you get, the turning camera the tilting camera so good for somebody who has it if you haven't got track IR it really it's a game changing mechanic because it lets you see the uh, the corner coming up as if you were turning your head in real life and that's just great it adds to the immersion I think I thought there's quite a few people on here Twins. 
<laughs> right together. Hopefully they're going to sort that out and mix them up a bit and make, make sure we don't get uh, multiple people. But at least they're boarding the bus and they're getting off all right. And that's important because otherwise if they weren't getting off, it would break your immersion even worse. But you might not be a able to pull off properly, right? You can see the shadows being portrayed by the bi the buildings and the trees since I've upped it. It does look lovely. I really can't describe how nice it feels to drive this. I am looking to do more bus sort of things, get out into more simulator. I'm in the wrong lane I think. I don't think I'm in the actual lane then. Am I? No, this is the, the bus lane. So the word bus takes a while to sh show up. To r to render, so I might it might be again it might be a graphic setting. Two guys, twins, triplets. Holy moly! Well, we're going for like quads, I think. I think that guy with a phone out there is another guy. Look, there's four of them, four of the same guy. <laughs> That's a a record for sure. Don't think we've got many stops left. Pretty sure we've not got many stops left. I'll uh, try and get this out as soon as possible. This first released, uh, first released March, I believe, March twenty-first. No, twenty-fifth of March, twenty-one. I think it says rele release date on there. I have to check Steam. But, uh, beautiful. So I really, really hope you can uh, do a lot more in the game as it de develops. I'd like to, to see if you can set your own bus company up. I'm assuming you can do. Or well, that's what they're hoping for. Nice to do single player and potentially later down the line multiplayer. So multiplayer modes phase two they say. So it says on phase three when they reach phase three uh, you'll receive additional updates, there will be more features and content before we update full release in the bus. So it says that you can create, the, the idea is, is single player economic mode, where you can create your own bus company, buy vehicles and hire staff, maintain and, re and repair the vehicles of your fleet and generate income via ticket sales, multiplayer modes for eco economy, Additional bus lines, they were trying to get like 250, 45 with various routes. I mean, that's a lot of flipping routes, and they're on about getting AI tri trams as well. Uh, they're on about uh, announcers and NPC audio dialogue, open hub, free roaming area between Berlin Central Station and Pots Podensa Plaza, is it? I'm sorry if I butchered that name, including the Tigger. I'm, like I said, I'm dyslexic, so it's difficult. But that, you know, they're hoping to have a lot of, Ber of Berlin in here, and uh, you know, it's uh, it really does look <laughs> really nice. Look at that lovely church there, beautiful. There's a full day and night cycle with seasons, so you know it's really good. You can pick them. I can, if you want me to drive this at night or something to give you a different uh, uh, aspect, let me know. I'm sure I can do a video uh, with me driving in the night time because you've probably seen many people driving in the day because it shows off everything. But I, uh, me. I like me some rain and some darkness as well, so I think I might actually do do that next. I think I'd like to show the game with rain and darkness and see how that runs as well. I think that'd be quite interesting. We could call it the bus after dark. That sounds like a title for me. 
I like it. Let me know what you think. If you did manage to get all the way to the end of this video, and I really, really appreciate it. If you've left me a comment, thank you ever so much. If you've subscribed or you have been a subscriber for a long time, I really do appreciate all the wonderful support. And uh, I uh, look forward to reading your comments and uh, your constructive criticism. Like I said, uh, trying to get my audio, I am nar narrating this after the fact. And uh, I'm using a headset with a dodgy cable, unfortunately, on my headset. So you might have heard a little clicky clacking sometimes, so I apologise for that. But I think we've only got one more stop, I think it is. Then we'll be reaching the end. Yeah, I think this is the last stop, I believe. I think you'll see it says uh, you've completed the journey and it's like one of one of two excuse me everybody off and then they all go look all off look, route completed see look and it says one of two so you can do a second one which I would like I would like to do but I think I'm going to try and do this in the darkness. I think it would be nice to do it in dark night time with rain and see how different it is. So if you are really excited at the idea of that let me know in in the comments. Thanks ever so much for for watching. Take care of yourself. I look forward to reading your comments and uh, happy gaming thanks ever so much TML Studios for the key I hope and uh, I hope they're pleased as well I know I am and I'll see you uh, soon take care Oddball76 signing off goodbye